Marine engineering is the heart and the main propulsion system of a board ship. Marine engineering is a massive machine that involves several parts and requires equal attention. The breakdown of the marine engine is a nightmare for every marine engineer as the entire ship and its operations come to a standstill. It is for this reason that every marine engineer needs to thoroughly understand its construction and working. Maintenance of machinery has to be carried out regularly by marine engineers. Considering the ship's situation, there are various tools, parts and materials that are required to be always available on board. It is important for every marine engineer to have a clear and good understanding of tools, parts and materials to benefit the engineers for proper upkeep and inventory of tools. To give you a deeper understanding. In this video, I will discuss the sum of the common types of tools, valves and equipment used by marine engineers. Number 1. Hand Spanner and Wrenches. There are different types of hand spanner and wrenches available in the workshop that could be selected depending on the type and condition of maintenance work to be done. Some of the examples for hand spanner and wrenches include, adjustable wrench. It is used as an easy tool for undetermined size of bolt and nut when immediate tightening is required. Adjustable pipe wrench. Suitable for fastening, loosening small sizes threaded pipes and damage head bolt in an awkward position. Slogging spanner is used for loosening and tightening bolts that are big sizes by using a hammer. Rather than an adjustable pipe wrench. Hook spanner is used for threaded cap connection with teeth to avoid damaging the cap. Offset spanners are used when working in awkward position jobs. Square drive wrench is specially used for square bolts or handles. Number 2. Pliers. Pliers are designed mainly for gripping objects using leverage. Different types are available which can be also used for cutting wires, crimping of wire connectors, removing of snap ring, and more. Some of the subtypes of pliers include, water pump pliers, side cutting pliers, combination pliers, end cutting pliers, long nose pliers. Number 3. Scissors and tin snips. Scissors are used to cut thin materials with a slight force, while tin snips or metal shears are tools used to cut thin sheets of metal but are able to handle thicker and hard material. There are three different types of tin snips available, the straight, left-handed and the right-handed tin snips. Basically, cutting with these depends on the direction of cut and the tool you are going to use. Straight snips are for cutting straight line, left cutting snips will cut in curve to the left and right cutting snips will cut curve to the right. Number 4. Portable Hydraulic Devices. Portable hydraulic devices like the hydraulic hand pump and portable cylinders are used for lifting heavy equipment. The portable cylinders are used specially for itching the cylinder liners for facilitation of easy removal from the casing of a diesel engine. The hydraulic hand pump can also be used for torque tightening, manually opening and closing of hydraulic lee valves in the ballast piping system and other special purposes. Different types of sealant and adhesives are used for maintenance purposes on board. Some sealants need special applicators such as the gun applicator and others. The most commonly used sealant and adhesive is silicon. Cold chisels and pin punches are used for cutting and driving metal pieces at work. Allen wrench or sometimes called hex key are used to drive screws within a hexagonal heads in different sizes. Hand file is used to shape materials by cutting. There are different shapes available such as flat, round, triangle, oval, and more. The file's teeth can differ from rough, coarse and bastard. Number 5. Plasma Cutting Equipment. Plasma arc cutting is a process in which an open arc can be constricted by passing through a small nozzle, or orifice, from the electrode to the workpiece. The gas used is typically air and it combines with an electrical current to create a high temperature plasma arc. 
When placed in contact with an electrically conductive material, the arc passes through the metal, melting a thin area. The force of the arc pushes the molten metal through the workpiece and severs the material. For the cutting process first a pilot arch between nozzle and cathode is ignited by means of high tension. This low energy pilot arch will prepare the distance between plasma burner and workpiece by partial ionization. As soon as the pilot arch touches the workpiece, flying start of cutting or piercing, the main arch is induced by an increase in performance automatically. Number 6. Oxyacetylene Welding and Cutting Equipment. Oxyacetylene welding, also commonly referred to as gas welding, is a process which relies on combustion of oxygen and acetylene. When oxygen and acetylene are mixed together in correct proportions within a handheld torch or blowpipe, this will produce a hot flame with a temperature of about 3200 Celsius. The chemical action of the oxyacetylene flame can be adjusted by changing the ratio of the volume of oxygen to acetylene. The three distinct flame settings include neutral, oxidizing and carburizing. There are a lot of tools and equipment that every marine engineer needs to know and know how to use it. Marine engineers have a role to ensure and amend any errors that occur on their board ship and to ensure that all the plans will go smoothly with as little problems from occurring as possible. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video.